Okay, so you have your cube and the lights, then you delete them. And we have our scaled cylinder that has been scaled on the Z axis. So now you select the edge. Then what we are looking for right now is to select similar edges based on their direction. So after doing that, then you bevel it. When you bevel it, then you extrude. Okay, so you're done with the extrusion. Make sure that it's a little bit smaller. Then you bevel. So after when you're doing the bevel, we want, the, we want them to look round. So we bevel it and you increase the number of bevels over there. Okay, so that's that for the pen. Now we're onto the shading. We're going to uh, import an image texture, which will download the Bitcoin image texture. Then you open a bump node. Then you plug the normal to the normal, then the color to the height. So now we have our uh, Bitcoin texture showing over there. So all you have to do now is to uh, edit the UVs to match where the texture fits. So that's what we're going to do for now for the top side and down side. So we select the faces on that side. So I want to put them at an area where there is no texture. Yeah. Now for the bottom side, we are using the same texture. It'll make it fit. Okay, so now we are going to import our PBR texture that was downloaded online. I'll, I'll leave a link in the in the description so if you want to download it, then you download it so you use them. Okay, so now that our PBR texture has been placed inside, we are going to, we have to use cycles to PBR properly. Then we have an HDR, HDRI, then we bring our HDRI into the scene, so now we have a better looking image. So we have to adjust the color to our preference. We want something that looks a little bit copper, a little bit like copper or gold, some, something like that. Okay, so the bumps were in the right place. When the text will be coming out. So we just check all the settings, if all the settings are okay, then we do our render. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next.